Golf is one of the most difficult hand-eye coordination sports to play. It involves a lot of skill, years of practice to play, and just good technique. Putting is also, oh wait, no. Um, there's a lot of hazards such as sand, water, long grass, and wind. And it can really affect that long ball, which I call an Ortega bomb, and make it go into Ortega wrong. Putting is also a key thing for uh, golf. It requires for you to read the green to get the right speed and the right angle to get the ball into the hole. Today I'll be talking to you about the history of uh, the putter, um, how, how to uh, get into the right uh, angle and how to putt, and what are the benefits of putting. Golf was introduced in the 15th century in Scotland, and it was an 18-hole game when it first started out. Then in the 16th century, it introduced wooden putters, and they were called uh, putting cliques. And it was very kind of hard to, like, use because it will always had, like, it wasn't always perfect, so it usually went a little too left or a little too right, and sometimes it was just sometimes perfect. One century after that, they introduced the iron putter because they made a new ball that was made out of tree sap and it affected the way that wooden putters would hit the ball. So they moved it up a notch and made it so that way it was more effectively um, accurate and players got used to the way how it felt. In the 1950s, um, there was this one guy who made a putter into a, in a garage, and he ma named it after the little ping that it made after hitting the golf ball, and then that's when the first ping putter was introduced and have been used ever since by golfers. And this history shows that how we evolve and make things a little bit better, by the way, other things change so we got to make the most out of what we can and now our games have evolved into players sinking in like 20 inch putts and stuff like that now i'll be going on to show you guys how to get the right angle and how to putt and stuff like that so basically when you putt it's difference between left and right I can use both basically because I'm ambidextrous um but I'll be showing you guys right since probably most of you guys are righties and stuff like that but what you want to do is you want to get down low to the ground to the point where you have a little bit of distance so about like this far and then you want to look at the hole and try to aim it right there. Or if you see like a little divot or um, downhill slope, you want to kind of like, so you have a little line right here. You want to try to like angle it towards that or a little bit in front of it. And then, uh, then basically, you want to just get in between your feet and get that line going onto the tip of, like in the middle of your putter. And then you want to slide it down. Look back and forth a little bit just to make sure. So that one was kind of off, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it's basically just you getting the hang of it and um I don't know. I need I need to go over again. <laughs> I would like to go over the benefits of putting. It's it helps you with other sorts of like sports and stuff like that too. It helps you to be patient and um basically learn your range and distance of certain things and if you ever want to go out to like a putting 
green or something like that, you can get some extra practice like that too, and you can kill your friends in mini golf too. And um, it's probably a good skill to have if you ever go to work and you want to play golf with your boss. You can show them basically your putting skills and stuff like that too. But it's, I mean, it's probably not that much benef benefiting, but in some way it is. And I like, I went over the history of putting, how to putt, and the benefits of putting.